Today, I'm going to be making cheesy sausage quiche. Now, I got this recipe from the October 2006 edition of Southern Living Magazine, but I am going to be making some changes to their recipe. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be using, and then when we sit down at the table to actually uh, review it to try it I will tell you the changes I made so for my recipe I'm going to be using this is a whole uh, green bell pepper it was small though it was really really small and then we have some chopped onion here I'll probably use probably a half a cup of chopped onion I have some salt and pepper that's just to taste I have a half cup of milk I have a fourth cup of shredded medium cheddar cheese I have a whole um, Tennessee Pride. This is mild. This is a 16 ounce uh, package. I have four um, large eggs and then I have eight egg whites. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to um, get our um, entire uh, bell pepper in a skillet and however much onion you want. So um, I really, really, really like the combination of green bell pepper and, egg, and um, uh, onion in egg. So I'm just going to put, look at it, and that looks like good enough for me. That's probably, I don't know, that's probably half a cup. And I'm gonna fry this until it's tender. And I'm also going to uh, open my sausage here. And we're going to fry the sausage until it's completely cooked, until it is uh, brown. There's no more pink at all. So these are always really, really fun to get open. So you just have to use a knife or use your scissors and just know that you use your kitchen scissors. Hopefully you have some kitchen scissors. And so I'm gonna put this right in this pan here. And like I said, we're gonna fry this until uh, there's no more pink at all. And then we'll get those onions and peppers cooked until they're uh, more translucent. This is our cooked sausage and I did drain the grease. Uh, for the onion and pepper, I did spray a little bit of cooking spray in the bottom of the pan just so that it wouldn't stick. So I'm gonna pour that right in this big bowl uh, with the sausage. And then I have uh, my half cup of milk. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And then the eggs, just give those, give those a, um, a little stir here. These are my egg whites. And pour these in. And then do the same thing, same thing with your at your four eggs break up those yolks and pour those in and then we're gonna add i'm gonna put a fourth of a teaspoon of um salt and then I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper a little more or less won't matter because you can add more when it comes out and uh, then put your cheese and mix this together And then I'm using a, um, I have a Bakewell tart pan and that's the pan that I'm gonna use. And so I'm going to um, spray this tart pan with um, vegetable oil like this, just spray it. So that it doesn't stick and pour this in there. You need your oven preheated to 350 degrees.
and you're going to bake this for 30 minutes or until it is firm. So this is how this looks. I'm just gonna get it out with a spoon. Um, this was in the oven for 42 minutes and I have let it set for five minutes. So you can see it is all uh, very well cooked, but it said 30 minutes. I left it in for 42 because the first time I took it out of the oven, it was uh, jiggly in the middle and it just, it was not done to my liking. So I wanted to leave it longer. So this is the October 2006 edition. And uh, my recipe, I guess, is really loosely based on their recipe because uh, what I didn't realize, well, first of all, I've never made a quiche in my life, never. So I don't know what it's supposed to be like or any, I have no, nothing to compare it to. Um, but then um, as I started uh, reading it, I realized this is supposed to be a low calorie, low fat dish. So everything that they did in the magazine um, instead of using peppers, um, peppers, they used mushrooms, which I don't think has any bearing on the calories at all, but they used, uh, for the sausage, they used lean ground pork sausage, whereas I used just regular sausage. Uh, we used the same amount of eggs. They used, uh, reduced fat sharp cheddar cheese. I could not find the reduced fat, so I just used the regular cheese. They used fat-free milk. I used 2% milk. So basically the differences in the recipe were just in that. As, as my used a pepper, they used mushroom, which Kevin, we both like mushrooms, but I just really like that combination of green pepper uh, with onion and egg so much that I wanted to use that. Um, but this picture of this little girl putting the cheese on there, um, that does not resemble this recipe because you only use a fourth cup cheese and that is a lot more than a fourth cup cheese what she's using in that picture. Um, but so for my calculations, this whole dish is 1,686 calories, and that's not me giving, I didn't include any calories for the onion or the bell pepper. And I, most of that was sausage calories. Yes, <laughs> the egg, the, the, um, the full eggs, the four eggs were 280 calories, the egg whites were 136, the cheese was 110, the milk was 60, and then the sausage, that whole roll of sausage, was 1,100. So that's how many calories I got for it. So you ready to try this? Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking mine took longer to bake. It could have been because of the, the sausage. It also could definitely have been because of the pan that I used. The pan that I used was um, a smaller, so I think it made mine thicker and it probably just took more time to bake. And in her particular pan, uh, grease did come out of it a little bit. So just, oh. uh, yeah, you want to make sure you got a pan underneath of it. Put a cookie sheet underneath of yeah. it while you're breaking it. And I noticed when she cut it, kind of got it in the middle, some of the grease was like coming out of it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, the eggs are all good and cooked. Mm -hmm. So that what that liquid was, was just grease from the sausage. It's, yes. That mm. is so good. I mean, that that's delicious. It is very good. Now think about it, a traditional quiche has a, a crust. Can you imagine a crust in the bottom of this? It's not a thick crust, it's a really thin. That would be good. Like what kind of a crust? Like a cornbread crust? No, it's just like a, like a pie like crust. Like a pie almost. crust? Yeah. Huh. But to be lower calorie, you can't have crust. Right, <laughs> so they left that out of this one. Um, I really like this. Mm, it's really I, good. It reminds me very much of an omelet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it has the same flavors as an omelet. You really... It's very good. Yeah, you could put tomato on top of this or whatever. Yeah, this is just a, a different... Um, I guess if you wanted to bake it in a pan and not have to fool with it like an omelet. Honestly, though, omelets aren't that hard and they're a lot quicker than this. This is something you can take, though, to serve more people mm. without having to make omelets. Mm. 
Yeah, and I do think you could have made this in like a lasagna pan or something. Mm -hmm. In a in a long pan. Mm -hmm. Kind of casserole dishes mm -hmm. for them. But this is good. You really mm -hmm. taste the you taste the egg, you taste the, the sausage. It reminds me a lot of, you know, I've done the on lunch and review, I've done the egg bites. Yes. It reminds me of the texture and the flavors of those a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. According to their recipe, you're supposed to get eight servings. Um, I can blow that because this is pretty filling. It is going to be very filling. Yeah. I mean, Kevin and I will uh, probably eat. How much of that do you think we'll eat? We'll mm. probably split the pan on us. But. Um, <laughs> Not that I'll eat that much. <laughs> no. It'll be very, very filling, though. We definitely won't get eight servings out mm -hmm. of it. Um, but this is a good recipe if you want something to where you can make it and then just put it in the oven and forget about it. Just know that if you if the thicker it is, the longer it needs to cook. Yeah, That's yeah. the only. It'll thing be I jiggly have. in the middle when you kind of shake it. Yeah, so so just leave it a little bit longer until it's not so jiggly in the middle. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.